Well, Christmas is now just a few days away, and chances are over those next few days, you're going to be spending a lot of time in the kitchen. You'll be baking and cooking and preparing so many special dishes and desserts. Though this morning, we are bringing in one of the experts. It's go time, and we've got Chef Felipe Pimentel here with us to share some of his true talent. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are good. Last time I saw you, we were busy making cobbler, and I understand I this know. time you're making another fabulous pastry. You're making crepes. It's one of my favorites, and every holiday, my family asks me to make it in the morning. Well, there's something special about crepes, but I think a lot of people are intimidated by a crepe. Even It just sounds so fancy. <laughs> now, well, it's super easy to make. Um, few ingredients that I'm sure everybody has at home. Just eggs, milk, flour. Basically it is, that's it. And then some sugar, some vanilla extract. I mean, super simple, but delicious. It's easy to make as well. All right, so when you're doing your ingredients, I know you've got the blender right there. Is it best to, to go ahead and blend or really whip it good? I know you don't want any lumps. Yes, definitely. You don't want any lumps. And I find to um, the, the blend is a little bit easier to make this batter, uh, but you can also use the good old whisk <laughs> if you want. <laughs> but my good old friend here, blender, it's also a good way to go. Okay, so where do we get started? Are you going to give us some of the, the measurements here for making some of that batter? Yes, definitely. So first, I have melted some butter in here. And I'm going to add that to my batter as well. So it's about three tablespoons of butter. All right, you're going to start with one cup of flour. And I'm using all purpose flour, all right? So one cup of flour, two whole eggs, and the, the best eggs you can find, the better. And look at you doing it with one hand. I know, I'm trying to show off a little bit. <laughs> now with two hands. There you go. All right. And you were telling me earlier and too, Felipe, that it's really important to have fresh ingredients when you're making something like this. Yes, definitely. Uh, the best ingredients you can find like organic milk, uh, farm raised eggs. Uh, first of all, you normally I try to uh, support smaller business than you know bigger business and they have such much better quality uh, ingredients that's gonna affect hmm. your you know final product okay all right again you're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract you're gonna just eyeball it here there you go one tablespoon of sugar so this batter is kind of like a uh you can do like savory crepes or sweet crepes. So mm. you can do like ham and cheese crepe. So this batter is like very bland. You can use for sweet or savory. Which do you like the best? Uh, I like the sweet one better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the Nutella <laughs> and the peanut butter and the strawberries, all that good stuff. I know, it's so much. All right, so you're going to add one whole cup of milk. And you're using whole milk there. I'm guessing that makes a big I'm difference, too. I'm using whole too. milk, but if you want to, let's say you have a dairy allergy, you can use um, almond milk. Okay. Not a problem at all. Or if you want to just use water, it's fine as well. All right. And then also you're going to add half a cup of water. That helps the batter to be... Um, a little bit lighter. All right, now you can add your melted butter. Oh. I like, so since I'm going to use this uh, pan right here, oh, it's hot. Since I'm going to use this pan right here to make my batter, to make my crepes, what I do, I melt the butter in here so it's already coated with butter for the crepes. But you can also use the microwave if you want. All right. Now you just blend this up. Got this fancy blender for Christmas uh, for my wife. <laughs> Last year I bet you're <laughs> using it quite a bit. I know. 
And you know, Felipe wanted. Learning how to. I love it. One of the things I think people think about when you think of crepes, especially me, it's one of those things that I'm not sure of my talent, so it makes me nervous to try to make that for Christmas morning. But you say, because we're going to run out of time, kind of walk me through the process of once you're putting it in the pan, because I know that's where it gets a little touch and go for a lot of people. I know, but now it's just putting in a pan. Ideally, it would be for you to let it rest for like five minutes the batter, but you can go ahead and add it. And it's very important that you have tons of butter in a pan, and then you just let it cook. Is that a pretty high heat that you're cooking it on? I'm cooking the medium heat. You okay. don't want it too hot. Okay. Actually, a lower heat's much better because the batter is very thin. So if you have like a high heat, it's gonna burn really quick. Okay. You want to cook that a little bit slower. See? I can already see it starting to set up. All right, Felipe, we are out of time, but thank you so much for sharing your traditional crepe recipe with us. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I hope you have wonderful holidays with your family. Oh, you as well. And don't forget, you can always follow him on Instagram and social media. He's always got great pictures. We're going to take a break. Yes.